Welcome to the crochet couch. And we can get rid of that camera for now, but we will be using it later. So today we're going to start with finishing our Poco Yo Bird, our Sleepy Bird. We're going to finish that, and then we're going to move on to the designs. I have two that I need to work on. One is the Mario Star, and then I have a Deadpool one that I tried to work on last night, and it was just ridiculously frustrating. Um, my original, the image that I'm using as a um, inspiration or trying to, to port over from its version to an Excel version, it, it's not actually symmetrical, which is driving me crazy. So I was trying to fix it and trying to fix it. Other stuff was breaking and it just it stopped being, it stopped looking like a good project. So, all right, so we have all the little bits and pieces of uh, Sleepy Bird made. All of his, um, all of his wings and beak and eyes are complete. So we've got the two little wings. One wing, two wing, his eyes, which we deliberated about, uh, and his big freaking eyebrows. His beak, which is amazing. It's a massive, massive beak. Uh, and now all we have left is I have the bag of polyfill. Ooh, fluffy stuff. And uh, I can probably actually start the stuffing and then keep crocheting it closed. So I am need to do a little bit of counting here, figure out how many I need to keep doing to close it, but we will probably be done with this within half an hour, 20 minutes or so. And then we'll move on to the computer. So it'll be, uh, I won't be crocheting so much as creating the designs so I can crochet them later. And that, oh actually no, uh, we won't be doing that right away. In between finishing this guy and going to the computer, I actually need to do the uh, 12 inch square for, um, for Cowboy. I can't forget that. So I hope Cowboy stops in again tonight. It was fantastic seeing him. Um, if you guys weren't here last uh, last time, my gosh, first first tier three sub. It's fantastic. Um, so and, and the way this works is each month that someone wants to do it, you get a crocheted amigurumi or pillow type item uh, sent to you. So you keep you get one a month. If you want to keep getting stuff, that's you can do it that way. I mean, I will also take individual orders. Knitting nerd, hello. How are you? So this is my uh, Poco Yo bird. It's the little bird you see up in the corner there, and that's what I was trying to make. And I didn't have a pattern. I mean, the closest thing to a pattern I got is I went and I got a Hershey Kiss pattern to get the uh, knitting, of course. So I went and I got a Hershey Kiss pattern because the bird looks kind of Hershey Kiss shaped. And I had the, the proper teal yarn. And then uh, everything else, I just kind of made up as I went along, basically with my Amagurumi experience. I'm bringing it a little closer. You can't quite see everything from that far away. So, and everything is done in the round, uh, except the eyebrows and the eyes. The eyes are done with felt, and I just all I do is take a white piece of felt and the sharpie, and then those are sewn on with some cotton thread, and then the eyebrows are just a whip stitch type thing, and yeah, the wings are done in the round, and then you just fold it together to make a wing. Same thing with the beak. You just start, uh, you decrease slower, so you get a, a sharper point. And yeah, we are almost done with this dude. Hmm. I'm hearing my own voice, which means I need to turn this down. You guys don't want to hear all that extra echo. Alright. So, yes, this is my project for tonight. And I had a tier 3 sub the other night, and that's what I was just talking about. Cowboy82 subbed at our highest level. And so after we're done with this guy, I'll be going ahead and making a 12-inch uh, granny square, like these ones, 
He wants a dark blue. And then I will be moving the computer uh, and showing my computer screen while I work on my design process for my 8-bit uh, Mario star I'm working on and a Deadpool image. And those will be turned into pillows. The Mario star will probably also be turned into a, uh, a chair cushion. So it's... Sorry for the blowing. Uh, so that is what I am all working on tonight. And like I said, I need to count my stitches here to figure out how many I need to continue to decrease by. So, found one decrease. One. Now which one over here is the decrease? These both look like they could be possible decreases. Okay, here's one. So I think I was at like seven or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think it's eight. And, but we finished the row, so... And that is a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I, I finished sevens as decreases. And so now we go down to six, I believe. Just six and then a decrease. We'll keep this stitch marker right where it was. Except I'm going to switch to yellow stitch marker. It is less, uh, less alike. So, of the knitting, Miss Nerd, what have you been up to? One, two, three, four, five, five. And seven. So, uh, oh, uh, knitting nerd. So I have a few things going on here. I think I've mentioned before that uh, I have a Discord, and a Discord is a it's a chat program. It can be voice chat or typing chat. And Hubs for Japan. Oh man! Finished setting up our cruise. Yay, cruise! Did everybody get set up for the cruise? One, two. Wait, I need to do sixes and then decrease. Last one, seven. So, uh, yeah, two things. One is the Discord. Fantastic. Great, great to hear that everybody got set up for that. So, yeah, one is the Discord. And, you know, I really should create... A shortcut for that a command 18 of us woo that's awesome so actually for the moment I will turn on the face camera hello um, and I'll make sure that I actually have my discord so the special thing about the discord that I was trying to get to is that I have a giveaways channel in the discord and what it is is when I go I I do giveaways for lots of stuff I enter so many things but most of all, I'm entering things that give me free yarn, or notions, or needles, or crochet hooks, or whatever. So I take all the things I enter, and I put it into one Discord channel. And that way you can go in there, you can click through all the links, I kind of give you an idea, like if there's anything a little wonky about how the, the giveaway runs, uh, I kind of give you a heads up on that. And so you can go through, you can see the kind of stuff that maybe you want to enter, and then it's... Uh, it's all in one spot for you. And I search mostly YouTube and Twitter to find these, but I also follow some Instagram stuff. So in order to get the most out of it, you probably want all the social medias. You want a YouTube account, you want a Twitter account, an Instagram. Uh, sometimes it'll have, no, it won't really have you follow Twitch accounts. People don't usually attach Twitch to their giveaway. Um, but some of them will want you to leave a comment on their YouTube video. Or if they do the, you know, they want Pinterest, that's the other one. They want you to follow them on Pinterest or repin a pin on Pinterest. You know, get their stuff out there. So I have a Discord channel with all that information. If giveaways are your thing. Which I know for a lot of people, who doesn't like free stuff? Especially yarny stuff. Alright, so we're going to add that to our rotation. So find my Twitch link. Alright. Not Twitch link. What am I talking about? My Discord link. <laughs> Alright. Go 
got that link going. Commands. New command list. Do. Why? Okay. Create. Do you like yarn related free stuff? Alright. Automatically repeat. Save. And let's go ahead and test this out. <laughs> and. Boom. Now that we got that out of the way, I probably should have done that forever ago. So that was thing number one that I wanted to mention. Thing number two is that I have a special giveaway, and I should probably create a little thingy for this too. Special giveaway is at 377 followers, which I believe we are at 326 right now. Maybe 330. I have to go double check all that. All right, now I have to double check. 377, which is a random number because it was just 100 from where I was at the time I decided to make this. We are at 329. Yeah, thank you, baby. So uh, at 377, uh, you know, I should have stayed standing because then I can show off what the item is that I'm actually going to be giving away. It is a World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria large gaming mouse pad. So this is a giveaway at 377. I figured it was great incentive. It's already set to go. <laughs> but yes, if you're a fan of World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria, or if you just like the artwork, because I think the artwork is great, it has pandas! Um, that will be part of the giveaway. I'm probably going to start doing, I might do a few Warcraft streams just to kind of get more Warcraft people in who might be interested in that. So, do I still play WoW? Well, I have a current active account, but I haven't logged in in a long time. And that's what I'll, I'll probably set up a few streams, um, but it depends on my computer. It's been having issues lately, and this weekend we're actually going to be taking my hard drive and sort of separating it. So I'm gonna take my regular hard drive, which I've had for eight years now. So it may be somewhere between six and eight years. Um, it's running a little, a little ragged. Um, my computer has been having random restarts, which is really, really bad. It'll just shut itself down. Like if you unplug it, that's what it does. But then it starts right back up again. Uh, and it did this last night and all I was doing Hello, hello! Thank you, baby, for the host! It's very appreciated. How many is that? One viewer! Um, so yeah, the computer's been having a little trouble. So this weekend, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually... I have a, I have a SSD, and we're going to take stuff like the operating system and OBS, and we're gonna put those onto the SSD and kind of refresh the hard drive. You know, I might even want to go out and get another hard drive, because if the hard drive's failing, um, that would definitely be my... Oh, I love the little kitty! Um, I definitely don't want that to be the point of failure, so I mean, it's, like I said, somewhere between six and eight years old. I'm, it's about time to get it replaced. It's also full! It's also getting full! So, um, it's hard for me to stream games at the moment. It, it really struggles with games. <laughs> So I do hope to get that up and running so I can stream so I can stream WoW. I want to stream Overwatch because I'm having a lot of fun playing Overwatch. Uh, but I can't stream it. If I turn it on and, and I turn on OBS, like my computer freaks out and uh, Overwatch becomes completely unplayable. So I can't stream it. And it's just sad because like that was a couple weeks ago that was eating into my streaming time because I wanted to do the event. They had the... Uh, the New Year's event. Alright. Where 
am I? Where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, and decrease. And you used to play World of Warcraft, right, Knitting Nerd? And Baby, did you play uh, World of Warcraft, or uh, you played, or did you play something else? I think we talked. We didn't really, actually know. We didn't talk much about games with you. One. Not a gamer at all. Four, five, six. See, I know Knitting Nerd in real life, and uh, I know now she plays a lot more board games, but uh, yeah, there we go. You did play World of Warcraft. Um, I think actually the first time I met you, Knitting Nerd, it was at the board game convention where we had the Knit and Crochet Lounge, but I had been going to events with the group for a while. I just happened to go to events where either you weren't present or I was like too shy to talk to everybody and I was just kind of sitting in a corner, not really making myself known. Why this is weird? That one looks kind of like a knot. Like crochet stitches should not look like a knot. I noticed that earlier in some of my stuff. I didn't wasn't quite sure what it was. <coughs> Two, three, four. Five and six, and then the decrease. Only here for the creative people, especially Yarny. Woo! Oh baby, oh baby! See, I like that. Work that in there. Uh, EverQuest first for a long time, then WoW for years. Yeah, I started playing EverQuest when I visited a friend's house. And, uh, he got kind of annoyed because I didn't leave the computer for like an hour. And he's like, okay, no more of that for you. And I was like, this is amazing, I didn't know anything like this existed, it's so great, and there's other people in the world, and he's like, yes, yes, that's how it works. He's like, now get off my computer. <laughs> You're here to see me. And that's when I learned that I was probably going to be very addicted to games. <laughs> Alright, so where is my decrease? I can't, I can't see my decreases among my regular stitches, it's weird. So, uh, Baby, what I was talking about earlier, um, is actually if you, I don't know if you've joined anybody's discords, but in my discord, if you put in exclamation point discord, I actually have a giveaways channel where I post mostly yarny stuff, yarn giveaways, notions giveaways, whatever, um, and there's this channel specifically dedicated to yarn giveaways. Ooh, and iPhone games, yeah. Mobile games. I need to figure out how to stream my mobile games, because I play... Simon's Cat, and I play. I have one now called uh, it's called Two Eyes, uh, which is sort of like um oh I don't remember the name of the type of game it is. It's like Sudoku in a square, like but the numbers are outside of the square. I know there's a word for it because it's on the uh, the Nintendo DS also. So yeah, Simon's Cat game. I have. Well, I mean I have Pokemon Go, but you can't really do that if you're tethered to a computer. So yes, sorry, I'm going, I'm ping-ponging back and forth. So baby, giveaways channel specifically in my Discord. Uh, I haven't posted for a few days, but a lot of the giveaways have like long running time frames. So uh, if you want to do that, you can do it. Uh, knitting Nerd. Yes, it is. I haven't looked into it very much. There is a way to stream uh, the mobile games. It might require a cord uh, to your phone, but you managed to figure out how to stream from your phone anyway. So, like, you should be able to stream a game that way, too. I just, I've never tried using my phone in conjunction with, I, 
the only thing I do um, with my phone when it comes to streaming. Uh, I can stream directly from my phone if I'm going to do like an IRL stream. But um, like when I'm sitting over here on the couch, sometimes I'll make comments on my phone. But that, that requires me to have it on, but I'm low on battery, so I don't. <laughs> And one. Oh no, don't want to lose the stitch marker. So, baby, I must admit, when you first came into my channel the other day, I thought you were going to be a troll. Just because of your name. And I was like, oh no, not this again. But then I saw you in everybody else's channel. I'm like, oh no, she's totally cool. And I'm saying she, but I'm making I'm making the assumption, so I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm misgendering you. One, two, three. Let's see now I'm on the fives. Four. Four. Five. But yeah, so Discord link, many, many giveaway things. One, two, four, and five. I mean, I also can play Hearthstone on my phone. I have it logged in. Uh, like, I have it downloaded and connected and all that, but I'd rather play on the PC. It's a much better experience. Your phone games are probably boring for other people, though. Mostly tap games and puzzle games, not very exciting. It's still gaming. One, two, three. Oh no, maybe I should change it. I'm female, the name is my design name for patterns commissions when I do them. Um, it's my Ravelry group and Instagram. Oh, well, then you should keep it. Absolutely, keep it. No, if everything's, like, connected to it. I mean, I I kept my Twitch name and went and I changed everything else. Like, um, I changed my Ravelry name to HyperZen. HyperZen. Just, I kept it HyperZen. I didn't want to put, uh, the girl after it. I considered, before I filled out my affiliate stuff, I considered changing it just to HyperZen. Um... But then I realized I didn't mind having the girl in there for Twitch. Um, but yeah, I still need to change my Instagram. That's the last one I need to change. Um, but I'm not sure, because my Instagram's not going to be just my crochet stuff. And Lizzykins! Yeah, absolutely don't change it. It, it was just, the, the creative community is just on high alert because we've been, we've had a lot of crazy, crazy people, you know jump into our streams and do stuff. Well, it's not, it wasn't anything she said. It was just the name, the, the baby thing. Because, you know, people come in here and start being... Well, they haven't to me. I've seen it happen to other people. And actually, when I say the creative community, I don't mean just the yarn people. I saw it happen to one of the larger streamers who streams under beauty it was they were wicked they were subbing subbing to her with their trolley terrible names um so like whoever it is like they have money to burn just to be a jerk oh <laughs> oh baby and more see it totally makes sense yeah I mean, and you're not, you're not doing anything else. Like I said, yeah, some people are a little high alert. So when it came in, I was like, oh no, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> but yeah, you didn't do anything. You're totally fine. Your name is fine. I, I mean, really, it's it come down to what do you start talking about? Or what do you say? You know, and like you said, you're here just for the creative people, the creative yarny people. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if you were here. Actually, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Um, paint actually banned someone for the first time in my channel. They were they were harassing Jingles too. Like it was a little weird. It got weird. Yeah, 
And Paint is actually here. Hello. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Interview in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and here I was talking, thinking that he was actually going to, you know, ask for a commission or something. By the way, he never did message me. He's like, oh, yeah, uh, hello. Oh, my gosh. Paint. Four months in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> so I need to make you another square. Yay. So I have two squares to make. All right, I need to fill out my book. Fill out my, my streaming book here. Find the right page for all the subs, the awesome, awesome subs. Yay! Collect all the ones, yes! So, uh, I'm gonna start adding months to my big squares because I realized that I don't have anything written on my squares. Um, I don't, should I put months on everybody else's? What do you guys think? I don't know if there's necessarily enough space on the three inch squares to write the person's name and a month, but if you want that, let me know. Paint, your name is short enough, I could probably do it. All right, so, oh, and yesterday, oh, Paint, I wish you were here. Cowboy, uh, 82. Uh, did a tier 3 sub so I need to make a big square for him uh, most do okay yeah that's a, the 6 9 12 I'll probably do a 6 and a 12 I'm not quite sure what I'll do or maybe just maybe I'll just do 6 9 12 maybe I'll get a different color for that like uh, I can get some metallic and do like a bronze silver and gold for six nine twelve maybe all right so yeah uh cowboy needs a 12 inch and paint 27 and what color do you want paint he's gonna be like the hood all by himself well these are 12 inch squares too that's why i was making my own because i was uh felt it you want me to felt it uh-oh i mean i have i already have felt but <laughs> you'll send your needles and band-aid <laughs> let's see I have let's see then I couldn't put it in the hood because I can't crochet a felted object into the hood it, it's just the numbers oh you want just the numbers okay hmm hmm okay so paint I have rainbow I haven't gotten new colors I can go out or I can find in my stash new colors I'm checking out what I have right next to me that would like match the shawl on the balls for something special so I have like a ocean boucle teal color that will be hard to make the square out of but I can do it um, cause you have all the colors. I'll just say that. Like you have all the colors cause there's the, the purple, which I'm out of. So there's, there's no more purple. Purple's gone. You have that one though. And then there's a teal and a blue and a rainbow. You should send me a skein of that black and neon one. Well, I kind of want it to match color wise. I was thinking about that, like, what will I do, you know, next year for a color scheme? So I've been, I've been trying to plan ahead. But I still, I mean, it's only like March, April, April, it's only April. So, black and neon, uh, square. And actually, I also have a random question for you. Do you check out my giveaways channel on Discord? I've been trying to like let people know that that exists, but um, because I don't at everybody to let them know when I post a giveaway, um, I don't even know if people know it's there. 
So I post about uh, the free yarn giveaways I see, and then there's Notion giveaways, and they all require something different to enter. Okay, sometimes. All right. You know, if I happen to somehow see, like, books, because I know uh, when the Geeky Hooker came out with her literary yarns, they actually did a free giveaway on Goodreads for her book. And you better believe, like, I was like, Jingles, I need you to enter. And I told my roommates to enter, and I entered, and none of us got it. But I was like, you will enter this free thing for me. <laughs> um, more rainbow. Okay, so paint wants rainbow. Rainbow. And cowboy wanted the dark blue. Alright, this was April 3rd, and paint is April 4th. Yay! I'm so happy. You guys are really, really... What was this? You wasn't broke, you'd stop. Oh, Lizzie Kins. Penguin Souls! Hello! Welcome to the channel! I don't think I've seen you around before. Welcome, welcome. We do crochet here. We're chatting about projects and free stuff. I think someone gifted you a sub. So you were sub for a little bit, Lizzykins. You do have a square up here. So you will be represented. I still have to look at TwitchCon stuff. There's something about this song. I just can't move it. I can't stop moving to it. So I'm a little sad that I haven't seen like Phoenix Fire or Neb or Needy Bird in here for a while. No, actually Phoenix Fire came in. He was hanging around in March. So that's awesome. <laughs> Lizzie Kins, I am glad you are just here. But I just want you to know that you are represented. I do appreciate you guys all hanging out. Even if you're not able to sub. It's awesome not to be talking to yourself. So Penguin, how did you uh, how'd you find us? Hang out in a, a crochet stream. I mean, look at this. I'm like, I'm making one of your kin. Another bird. Another waddly, waddly bird. This is Sleepy Bird from a children's cartoon called Poco Yo. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to do a decrease. One, two, three, four, and five. Do, 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 do. Fuck. Oh, it's Carl the actual chicken. Hello, Carl. Again, another kin. Another birdie kinfolk. Carl, would you want um, Sleepy Bird um, to hang out with you and your, your hens? I mean, he'd probably just sleep. Alright, and so I need to decrease, decrease, decrease. Where am I decreasing? Right here. Boom. Decrease. And stitch marker. Alright. Lizzie just found out that hubby and I share. Oh no! To be honest, I I did ask Jingles if I, it, I mean, because we share his his prime sub. And I did ask him before we connect the account. He actually had to put in the password in order to get it. Um, so I was like, can I have it? And, and basically, the the agreement comes down to whenever Twitch has giveaways for Overwatch loot boxes, those go to him. So he gets his Overwatch loot boxes, and I can have everything else. <laughs> One, two, three, four... And decrease. One. Enjoying creative. Do you usually hang out in creative, Penguin? Two, three. Or is this kind of like your first venture in these parts? <laughs> All right. 
four stitches. So there's one, two, three, three, and four. And a decrease. Da, da, da. One, two, three. Can you guys hear the music? Because I, I rewatched one of my streams the other night and realized that uh, you could not hear the music. I was like dancing and jiving and you could not hear it at all. <laughs> Uh, we thought since we have two different emails, my email has Amazon Prime through him. We both could have a Twitch Prime, and we were wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, when I went to go register it, I needed the main account. Because, like, we did kind of the same thing. Like, he added my email as a friends and fa as a family thing. Um... But then when I went to go hook it up to my Twitch account, it asked for the primary account holder's information. And that's when I was like, hey, can I have your account? <laughs> so, yeah, he literally had to come over and put in the password and all that, so. Uh, actually, I think Knitting Nerd had the same question. Uh, about the the twitch prime thing. She's like, oh, I can't do it. It's under his name and I'm like have him put it in It should work if you're connected on Amazon. You can connect it through twitch And if he's not interested in twitch great One two But it sounds like your guy might be on twitch doing stuff And, and to be honest right now I have another tab open with the Overwatch League, uh, what is it, round three? I don't remember what it's called. Um, <clears throat> but round three running, and I'm getting drops through it. <laughs> so I'm getting points for Overwatch because I'm active in their channel. So I, I, I got a message earlier saying that I got a point. We both have Prime on Twitch. Oh, oh. So neither have ads, but only one... Oh, one sub thing to share. Interesting, okay. Lizzy lurked away. That's fine. You had to reset the browser. Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry, Penguin. Um. Yeah, I think I was asking if you've been hanging out in creative before or if this is your first time chilling with some of the crafty people or I don't remember if there was a, let's see. Let me scroll up. I think you may have answered that. <laughs> oh, exploring creative. Okay. So who else and what other kind of creative stuff have you been exploring? So. Alright, I did one, two, th I was doing four and then a decrease. Listening, trying to uh, set up cams and laughs. Yeah, yeah. I was I was surprised the first time around how much time all of that took, and like how you actually have to go research a lot. And I was like, man, this feels like a job just starting out. And, and this was before affiliate was even a thing. I started streaming in 2016. Um. No, it was before that. No, yeah, it was 2016. I started streaming in 2016. Oh my goodness. Carl the actual cock gifted a sub to Lizzykins. Oh my gosh. Carl, that is so sweet of you. So Lizzykins, congratulations. You are now a sub. Let's put Lizzykins on the list. Lizzykins. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm spelling that right though. Okay, the first I is a one. Lizzykins. Okay. 
Hooray! Penguin just fixed dinner and wants to watch something chill and new. Sweet! Well, I'm glad you managed to find me. Um, yeah, so it'll be a little more crocheting today than I had originally planned, but you know what? That's awesome. So yeah, finishing a bird, making sub-squares, and then the next part is going to be a little more laid back in front of the computer designing some 8-bit uh, pieces. And I started making one, I, I started it on a, a piece of graph paper, and I got to a certain point where I wasn't counting correctly, so I actually was off count, but you guys may recognize this little star dude from Mario. So this guy is going to be one of the things I end up des uh, finishing designing. Um, the top half is fine. Uh, it's when I got to this point, when this part of the star, that it's supposed to go out this way, and this one's supposed to go out this way, uh, I had counted wrong, so it's it got all wonky. Penguin, no eat gift chicken! <laughs> you made some chicken and it's... No, no, no. But it's so good. See, so yeah, a Mario Star is one of them. Another one uh, I need to do is a, a Deadpool 8 bit thing uh, that I'm going to do a craft exchange. I don't know if this person knows that I'm going to do a craft exchange with them, but they need to give me their address so I can actually give it to them. Um, they are not currently in channel though. So, alright. We had Lizzie Kin sub, we had Paint Resub. We have Penguin hanging out and hopefully not eating the chickens in Channel. He'll eat his own chickens. Here eat babies, not Carl. <gasps> wow, Carl! That is not a very paternal thing to say. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I need to bookmark this. Oops, uh, random napkins bookmark that to know who to make so yes I love how when I make an outline of what I'm like this is what's gonna happen to the stream today and it totally changes I like changes <laughs> okay uh, so I did four and then decrease we're actually gonna stop here for a minute so I can stuff this guy hey hey Carl I'm gonna stuff the bird So we're going to have, I, I need to be careful not to stuff it too much, because then you start seeing the stuffing through the stitches. But we're going to grab some of this, and pulling it off in little chunks will help it get fluffier inside. So it gives it a little more, a little more fluff, some, add some air in between all those pieces. All right. Toast, toast, bacon, bacon. I think that's a jug of milk and a cat potato. <laughs> Balanced breakfast with potato cat. Honestly, that potato cat is so cute. Um, yeah, potato cat. Just crazy cute. Alright. And the thing is, I don't want to stuff this too little. Because you want it, you want it to be firm. So I want them to be able to, to squish it and all that. And, and this is for a three-year-old kid. What the heck is this? Oh, that's right. These uh, these containers of fluffy stuff come with a stick. They come with a they, they call, it's called a stuffing tool. The original polyfill stuffing tool. Basically, it's a wooden stick that you use to like shove into smaller pieces. Which is amusing, because like, it, before I knew stuffing sticks existed, I was really just using my crochet hook, which is like the same size, to shove it into places. <gasps> you got the sticker! Yay! Speaking of stickers, for those of you new in channel or haven't been here for a while, I have ordered stream stickers! Now I realized I made a mistake with my stickers. And this first batch will be going out to people who already know what my channel is. They won't be like given away as a business card type thing. Or maybe they will because they're adorable. Um, but the problem is, there isn't yarn on them. 
Ooh, an evil cuddle carnivorous penguin. Oh, man. You need to make a trade and gift corner for Twitch stuff. So, Yay. penguin souls, thank you for the follow. So, here are the cute, cute stickers. Come on, I need you to focus on it. Yay, well, we got all the stuff. Focus on the sticker. There we go. This is my little chat mascot with my name underneath it. So, when we, whenever I you know, mail stuff out or give stuff away, the sticker will go with it because I need to do the one that has the yarn on it. This one doesn't have yarn on it. This one's just a chatty fun one. So, uh, I also need to clean up the design. There's some tiny little things in there, so. I'm very excited about the new stickers. So any giveaway I do, one of these will be included with whatever else is being given away. Uh, if I get, when I get bigger ones, when I get some more of the designs, if you scroll down, you'll see that there's some, like the one that says, follow me. Uh, that one, he's all tangled up in yarn and it's great. Uh, so those will be the ones that I, I make and give away as part of a business card. But these ones will go out to everybody else. So how much to get the sticker? These I will probably be putting on Etsy for like $2. If people wanted to actually purchase them instead of waiting for a giveaway to happen, $2. Because they're tiny. They're, they're like one inch ones. They're not the big three inch ones. So. But they're the second person to ask, so I should probably go ahead and throw them up on an Etsy. Because I don't even think I have a link to my Etsy store. All right. Sleepy Bird needs some more stuffing. He's almost done. Almost done being stuffed. Alright. Alright, he's as stuffed as he's going to get for now. So I'm going to keep crocheting. I'm kind of right shape there. Take this blue one off. All right, so we're going to go three and then decrease. I'll do a couple rounds of three and then decrease because we're coming to the end here. One and two. Yeah, it, I don't say it becomes more difficult once we've stuffed it. Uh, I just have to be a little more careful that I don't grab the stuffing and uh, get that in the stitches because then it looks fuzzy and it just doesn't... Uh, like then I'm actually pulling the stuffing out of the out of the amigurumi and it just doesn't look good. Two, three, and decrease. So. Edits, edits, edits. You need to go to bed. Wish you luck. Yes, absolutely. I hope you have the best of luck, and I hope you just knock it out of the park with your interview tomorrow. Technically an internship, but they're looking for someone to do training video exits. Exits? Edits. Edits. Okay. Oh, you can totally do that. You you can tell you have the you are way overqualified for what they want. Oh my god. Yeah, you, you can totally do this. Alright, two, three. Hopefully they recognize that and they pay you decently. You're representing Ivy Tech IT Club Bloomington in an IT challenge in India on Friday. They're a VizCom design challenge. Oh, that's cool. Go paint, go! Putting that to greedy use!
You're going to Ivy Tech? Oh my goodness. Maybe you guys live near each other. <laughs> or maybe you already know each other. One, two, and three. And decrease. Campus, it's possible, but more than one Ivy Tech, you think. Ah, I got it. One, two, three, and decrease. Go ahead and immediately put a stitch marker in here. Fort Wayne, all right. Cool, are you coming to the IT challenge? Supposedly, if I can't find a partner, I'll get paired with any other lone students. They have a nice joint thing with now Purdue that used to be the IPFW dorms. Huh. Wow, Monster Cat turned from like techno to rap. All right. kid came from Fort Wayne. I'm going for culinary, so I have no idea the IT challenge was a thing. And our Reese wet to prude proper, they stole him. Apparently they're not picky. I'm technically in the information assurance track. Okay. But Chris Artera knows I can art. Yay, art. Paint is very art. She, she does lots of like traditional art stuff. You should check out her Etsy. Paint, go ahead and throw up your Etsy. One, two, three. So I only have like two things that are crocheted in my Etsy. Uh, they've currently expired, so I haven't put them up yet. Um, but yeah, I'll get those back up there and uh, then I'll put the stickers up there also. Oh, you know what I was going to do today, and I forgot to? I was going to post the Instagram link to the artist who I worked on making my stickers with. Uh, his, his Instagram, his webcomic, he has two Instagrams. His webcomic one, it's called Tired Grumpy Girl. Uh, his, so I'm going to go ahead and promote that, because I actually think he could really go somewhere with that one. It's good. I haven't seen anything really new come from it, but he's starting to colorize his stuff, so it's great. He's going through his archives and colorizing them. Two, three. And we will decrease. Go ahead and stuff that down a little more. Alright. Stitch 
question marker. Uh oh, my dad just sent me a message, guys. Yes, Paint, go ahead. Throw up your Etsy. What does my dad say? Or he said something about my coaster post, but I don't know where it is. It's this goes with your coaster post. Only 44 weeks until Christmas Eve. Hmm. Alright, he likes the coasters. Wow, my autocorrect is terrible. All right, so you love to cook, but I thought I could make this into a career, and well, I started to hate cooking. Hmm, uh oh. <laughs> I do make stuff, also, more going up. Cole needs that stuff. Yes, poor Cole. My, uh, my family doesn't really communicate all that often, so I feel like I have to take it when it comes, so I apologize. Alright, hating that is no good, right? Yeah. You like to decorate cookies and squishy birds. I have a squishy bird right here. Yeah, her goat balls are really fun, and she did the, um, she did one of a picture of me and my cat after my cat passed away, and it was really sweet of her. So I have a nice ornament with me hugging my cat. Mostly the cat. You see, like, an arm, and that's me. Actually, I don't know. Is my face in that? I don't remember. It's been a while. I, I'm really nervous to take it out of the container. Uh, we've never had a Christmas tree while we've been here because there are five cats in this house and we are pretty sure that they would literally destroy the whole tree and everything on it if we put something up. Okay, no more stitch markers as we were getting a little too, uh, too tight here. 
one, two, three, and decrease. And one, two, three. Squishy bird was watching you squish. <laughs> and decrease. So I just told my dad what I was getting for him for Christmas. I said this year, but like this past year I didn't get him anything, but I think the thing that I'm gonna make them will be good for two years, it'll be like this year, and then last year, the one that I missed. I really hope they like it. All right, Squishy Bird is watching me squish, got some stuff. We can't draw to save my life, but I can cook and bake though. Cooking and baking is awesome. Uh, yes, and so she has her, oh yeah, that picture. Yeah, my kitty. Mm, I miss my kitty. Kitty ball. Alright. One. Two. Three. Getting right down to the center here. And decrease. Running out of stitches, guys. And decrease. I think this should probably be the last one, because now I'm kind of waking this weird little pucker thing going on. Alright, so. We are going to go ahead and give myself a bit of a tail here so I have something to work with. So we're going to start weaving this guy in. We won't need too much because he'll just be pulled through the center uh, and essentially hidden in the stuffing. I'm going to make it go all the way around at least once. Um, to make sure it's kind of so it looks completely closed off. Doesn't look like there's a hole in the middle. There's not a hole in the middle, but uh, just the way it finishes off, it, it might look like there's a bit of extra space there. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this even shorter now that I'm done tying it off. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through starting here and hide it down there in the stuffing and guys we have a completed sleepy bird 
There's a little... Uh, I probably could have stuffed it a little more. But it keeps the bottom round. So... If they say they want more stuffing... Ball of bird. Yep, that's what we got here. A ball of bird. Soft sculpture now. You need sleep. But it's a ball of bird. You've been meaning to get a cycle thing of my son's OC characters. Oh, penguin, you order anything or free time? Come on, visit me or Carl. Yes, squishy bird. Very squishy bird. And squishy bird. It's a burb. Is it getting a butt donut? I wasn't going to do a butt donut. Do you think he needs one? There we go. I think actually I talked to the the gal who asked for it and I think she just wants the bird. I don't think she wanted a nest for it. So you <laughs> you just wanted me to keep going. But donut for sleeps. It's going to a three year old, I think the butt donut would just get lost. Alright. Sleepy bird is done. We're definitely gonna have to take pictures of him in like different places around the house. Maybe I put him up here with the camera and like get a picture of Oh, oh, there he goes behind the TV. That's a bad idea. Throw a sleepy bird up here. He's not gonna Okay, never mind, that's not gonna work. He's not gonna want. Alright. We have a completed burb. Burb burb. Sleepy burb can hang out there for tonight. Burb. And paint wanted rainbows. And Lizzie Kins didn't give me a color. Did she? Is she still here? I thought she was still here. She is still here. She said burb. She's the one who said burb. Burb. Heart the sleepy burb. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, yes, paint. All right, so both paint and Lizzykins want the rainbow. And I have so much of this teal left, you guys. I would say I'd use the teal for subsquares, but it's a size three yarn. It's too thin. Um, your your three inch squares would not be three inches. They'd be like one. So teal yarn. Okay, I'm gonna stick all the yarn that I'm done using in here, which would be the teal and the terracotta. Everything else is in a box. Oh, I'm not using this. The big twist bright green. That's not being used. The black will be used for the Mario star, so that can go in there. What else do I have over here? Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff over here. Oh! So I don't I didn't show this off on stream, but I will show them off now. I need to wash them a second time. Uh, when I went out to Big Bear for the knit and crochet retreat, we went to a local yarn store and did some silk scarf dyeing. So I got to learn how to use a different dye, the Jackard brand dye. And it is a little bit of tie dye, but these are silk scarves. You can see they're really floaty. They're kind of see-through. Maybe they don't look so see-through on camera, but they are. Yeah, there you go. When you pull it up to the camera, you can kind of see through it. They're silk, 100% silk. <laughs> this was done with two colors. And so you, get it wet, you shove it in a bag, I tied the pieces off, so I kind of have these diamond shapes going on. Uh, and you basically just microwave them, it's great. Really simple way of doing it. So this is my first silk scarf. Because I don't have a use for silk scarves, those are, so these will also be going up on Etsy. So that's my two color tie-dye one. And this is my two color one that I thought was gonna turn out much differently, but I kind of have green and purple stripes. It seems very uh, Dark Moon Fair colors. So like I have the Dark Moon Fair dress from World of Warcraft. Uh, I got it at BlizzCon a few years ago. This almost matches it exactly. 
completely unintentional, uh, matches it exactly. So, I mean, I, I don't see myself wearing a silk scarf with it, so it's nightlife-y. <laughs> so, but they still smell a little vinegary, so they gotta be washed and ironed and uh, cared for properly. They had just been sitting in a bag, I forgot about them. Oops. So yeah, that's a... Uh, they're really nice, it was so fun. They're so fast to do. Um, I can see myself just doing a ton more. Um, just so... And they're so colorful. Like, the camera's not really picking up the color as well as I'd like to. It's, it's a lot darker. The camera's showing you darker than it actually is. Like, this green is much more vibrant. The purple is... It just sounds dark. So, like, you're... You're seeing it very dark on camera. This is like a navy blue, and the orangey color is sort of like an orange pink. It's a salmon. Actually, this is closer. This is... But yeah, if you just sort of soften the colors a touch, that's what it actually looks like. I thought it was neat, because this one, like, it looks like there's a skull. It looks like a skull. There's a face in it. There's another one. Look, there's uh, there's two. There so seems like there's a face. That was one, right in the center there. Ha ha ha. Where's my second face? Uh, this one. Sort of a little face there. Not really, but sort of. Elfy, Elfy. Oh, I need to call a night to night other frosty Hoosier. <laughs> So yeah, they're, they are great. Um, and I need to find a, a supplier and if I have a little extra cash on hand, I can go ahead and start doing a, a variety of them. Hyper Lizzie and baby, night paint. You will go and kill it tomorrow. It'll be fantastic and you won't have to worry about a thing because you have all the skills that they're asking for. Okay, so I've got a bunch of ends here. Excuse me, I got the hiccups too. Ends and hiccups. All right, these go in my scrap bag. Scrap bag when it gets super full, and when paint wins a giveaway, she gets my scraps, and she will felt them as something amazing. Okay. Guys, I'm going to take a second here to take off my sweatshirt. I'm getting quite warm. Hello everybody! I see we've had a few more people join us. Welcome! So, have a waddling one and a flipper task. <laughs> there we go. I was like, which one looks better? This one. So, if you guys are into Overwatch, Overwatch League is going on right now. And they're announcing their new... Um, map and their new playstyle. They're having a PvP come out. So we're watching some of the repeats from earlier today. Sorry guys, I'm making lots of noise. I'm trying to clean up a little. And next project is Rainbow Squares. Um, we'll do the smaller ones first to complete them. Doot. Alright, now I gotta find the center, because it's 
tricky part after I finish using it. I don't want to use the end that's, there we go, center. All right, so we'll do Lizzykins first because she's still here. So actually I'll make the squares first and then uh, I'll, so I probably won't get to putting the names on them tonight because I have two three inch ones to make and I have one 12 inch one. And that one is probably gonna take a stream or two. Those, those take a while. All right, so there's one, two, starting two, doo, doo, doo. a little awkward. These are always, starting off any yarn project is always a little awkward. All right, now we do two single crochets. Un, the. That indicates that we are making a corner. Every single cluster is a corner on your first round of a granny square. One, two. Go ahead and kind of slide this all together. Pull this a little tighter. Wow, compared to the, the baby soft yarn I was just using, this stuff is really rough. So the... Uh, Sleepy Bird was made with Lion Brand Baby Soft uh, size 3 fingering weight yarn. This is probably like 6 year old Red Heart Rainbow. I don't. I actually don't know where it, if I even had the label for this. Um, one, two. But yeah, it is definitely less soft than the Burb. Burb is very soft. Okay, so one, two, and three. cluster so is anybody working on any crafts uh you know crafting along while watching a stream of someone crafting fabricating squares one This makes, oops, nope, missed. One, two. And this can be a slip stitch. Slip, 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 slip right through. And one, two, three to make the next row. Oh baby is trying to, oh no, your chicken's almost gone. Reconfigure a corner to corner chart using the colors I have. Oh, there you go. See, I haven't done any of the corner to corner stuff yet. I want to because it looks really, it looks really sleek. Um, and I watched the Crochet Crowd's video on how to do the stitch, and it doesn't look like it's very solid. Like, it doesn't look like it would hold up very well as a blanket-type stitch. And I'm like, how how are people doing this that, that makes the blankets all actually stick together? It just Maybe I just need to do it to see how it works. But watching his video, it doesn't actually seem like it's really all that viable. But I mean, hundreds and thousands of people are doing it, so it has to be fine. Because the way his stitch was looking, it looks like it's only connected to the next square with like one stitch.
but I also was having trouble watching his video. Like it was, it was his voice, or it sound it actually sounded like he was talking down to the person watching, and just it got really annoying after a while. I could not watch his video. Trying to get a stream avatar to work. Not sure if I said that already. Oh, well, you said you were working on your your layouts and all that. Stream avatar to work. Gonna work on a painting of a friend's emote. Oh, that's cool. She's going through a rough time right now, so I want to do something nice. That's super sweet. I don't paint. Like, I don't... I, I mean, I... I can do cool stuff with crochet. Um... But the thing is, like, I also do more, like, freehand crochet. If I try to have to follow a pattern, I get really, like, anxious about it. Like, I was telling someone about how I was trying to work on a cat pattern, and, like, I think it turned out terrible. She said it was cute, but I think it looks derpy. <laughs> it looks super derpy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I just... I'm, uh, up until doing the bird here, like, I was really nervous to do an amigurumi again. And the bird, I'm like, when she asked me for it, I'm like, okay, it looks simple enough. Um, like, if she asked me to do the, the main character, the Poco Yo, who's like a humanoid shape, I haven't done a humanoid amigurumi before, and that would be a lot of pieces. I probably would have been very... Uh, I might have Lizzykins. Are you on Instagram? And am I following you on Instagram? Because it seems like a thing I should probably know. Or follow. We're going to go ahead and go and try and find you. I'm, if you don't mind sharing your Instagram name, I will go ahead and add you right here. Oh, never mind. I found you. And I am already following you. Alright, you did something for Imperial Girl. Was that the confetti one? Or something else? Oh my god, your your be humble is super cute. Alright. Your Instagram is crazy. Crazy cute. No, that's Debbie Cat. Debbie Cat's a pretty awesome person too. Twitter. Mm. Alright, now I'll go find you on Twitter. Do, do, do. Same thing, you are same Lizzie. L1. Lizziekins. How am I not following you? Following you now. And now, one up girl. Alright. Oh my gosh, Corgi Candy. Jesus. 100 emote things. Alright, we're just gonna hit media. Find that. Oh my gosh, is it the puking cookie? Because that's hilarious. And Penguin Souls is back! We're just talking about the crafty stuff we're doing. And Lizziekins uh, linked her most recent uh, artwork, and it's hilarious. All right, so we are almost done with the first three inch sub square. Woot woot. I'm gonna be wearing you guys all over. And I really hope I'm, I get to go to TwitchCon. Uh, I, the only thing that would be stopping me is finances. That's really, that's it. Go ahead and slip stitch this away, and it's awesome that the colors match, so we can sort of hide this a little better. Boop. Got a nice little knot in here. Beep, beep. Head it off in the right direction. Go ahead and weave in the ends. Alright, 
and it's woven in pretty well. We'll go ahead and cut this pretty close. Excellent. All right. Had to close up that middle really tight there. Kind of forgot about doing that step earlier. Usually I do it well. Technically, uh, these only have two rounds. I usually do it after the second round. All right. So, nice little three-inch square. Boom. Gotta make a second one. Gosh, that cookie! Is it also supposed to be a Wookie? I saw that they had like a strap around it. Is it a Wookie cookie? Oh my gosh, that I, I see why someone would do that. And why is it the puking Wookie cookie? Oh my goodness! Hey, Jingles. He's busy watching stuff. Two and three. And so we're working on paints right now. And two stitches. Okay. For some reason, this one's behaving way less nicer. It's being difficult. Jesus. Why for you be so difficult? You know, I was telling people before, like, there's sometimes when I'm crocheting and I'm, like, yelling at the yarn. And I'm like, you will bend to my will. And then Overwatch came out with Moira. And uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Overwatch or anything like that, but she has a phrase, she has a voice line that says, surrender to my will. It's fantastic. It's the same thing I say to my yarn. I think I need to grab that voice clip and turn it into like a gift bot or something. I need to turn into a command of some sort. Because that's exactly, that's exactly the, the way I say it in my head is the way she says it in the game. And I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's how I treat my difficult projects. That is exactly the way I think about them. <laughs> Especially the little, uh, the giraffe I made. Um... I realized while I was making it, I was trying to be, you know, you're trying to keep it upright, you're trying to keep it so it looks looks appropriate, and then partway through I realized, I need to turn this and squish this in ways it really shouldn't be turned and squished. And then I finally, like, and I did a good job on it. Because at one point I'm like, screw you, giraffe! I, I really got kind of animated. I'm like, screw you, you will do exactly what I want you to do, and you will attach exactly the way, because I'm sewing on the legs and the head and whatever, and you have to, like, sew through the entire body. It's actually kind of disturbing um, <laughs> when you're making some amigurumis that are, like, not really working, because my yarn was really soft and squishy, so in order to get it to hold on tight enough, like, to get the arms to stay and not just be like this, like, to get them to have some sort of substance, I had to go through the entire body of the giraffe and it was like I said a little disturbing and while I was doing it I'm like shoving and rah, 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 rah. <laughs> just <laughs> I was very very demanding with it and it was the thing is when I finished it was so satisfying because it looked the way I wanted it to even though I had to practically wrestle with it um, it turned out great so that was sort of a a breakthrough lesson in making amigurumi. <laughs> As you, you have to be a little, you have to be a little rough with the creations to get what you want. Now the bird, I didn't have to be so rough. The bird, nothing was. Uh, although I was doing some of the detail work when, uh, like I said, I rewatched my video from the other night. 
uh, and some of the detail work I was doing when Cowboy subbed. <laughs> and I see what you did there, Penguin. I see what you did. Thank you for that. Hopefully it'll be fun. I think that was Penguin, right? <laughs> and one, two, three. I need to be more active in that group. We need to we get people chatting and talking and doing stuff. One. So that makes two. And then one, two, for the corner turn. Mm, stabbing a giraffe through its body, not to dismember it, but give it a limbs. Yeah, it, it seems really counterintuitive, but that's... The giraffe shows up in the little projects thing, the pictures that are flipping around. He'll show up. He's so cute. Actually, I should see it. Like, and he was a gift from my niece. She wanted a giraffe. I specifically asked her what she wanted, and she said a giraffe. And then I asked my sister, well, what's her favorite color? Because I was going to be, like, doing... I was going to, like do a two-color giraffe, you know, with the spots and whatever. And so, of course, this little girl, being the daughter of my sister and practically the spawn of myself, decides to be difficult. And she says her favorite color is rainbow. So, I had to find a pattern for a rainbow giraffe. <laughs> Was that not you, Penguin? Did I? Did I get that wrong? It popped up, but then I, I didn't read, couldn't see the whole thing. Shoot! Alright. But yeah, that's the kind of sassy little answer I would have given at six years old also. Rainbow. Rainbow's my favorite color. I want all of them. But that's pretty much what she was saying, is that she wants all the colors. And she did. She got a giraffe with all the colors. Like, I used it as a stash buster. There's 23 different colors in that giraffe. And they're all, like... So I, I found the pattern. I think the pattern's from a website called I Love Buttons. It's someone's uh, sewing and amigurumi blog. And... Uh, so I tried to match each color as closely as I could with the yarn that I had on hand. And I have a lot of random stash yarn. And the the blanket's actually being made with some of the yarn that was also used in the um, in the giraffe. So it was nice to have all those random colors available. Thing is being weird. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, so giraffe and many colors and stabbing it all the way through to make sure that it didn't. So yeah, I learned a little. Um, it was a good project. It, it boosted my confidence in Amagurumi a little. Uh, like I said, still was pretty nervous to start the bird. Uh, I feel like I could have stuffed the bird a little more, but it'll be fun. It's super soft. Runs off! <laughs> yeah! No, that's excellent! You don't need to run away, stay! But again, free stuff! <laughs> I need to find out what they want next. Um, I know the youngest, her birthday is in June, so I kind of need to start thinking about what I'm going to do then, or for that. She gave me a little charm, and it's a little heart with a, like a little plastic heart that looks like his gem cut. And she's like, make this into a necklace for me. <laughs> I was like, um, 
Okay. So I did get some uh, like silver elastic cord to do that. I need to just look up some knots and like what an appropriate necklace knot would be. Uh, especially for a six year old. I made sure it was like the stretchy stuff. Last thing I want to do is like, you know, have my niece strangle herself with something I made her. My sister would like forbid me to ever see them again. <sighs> Alright, we are done with paints. It's not as enjoyable an experience as the first one was. It's just this one did not want to be a granny square. But I made it. It bends to my will. Well, surrender. That's the word she uses. That's the word Moira uses. Surrender to my will. Yep. Just like that. Alright, so grab this end off. Doop. So does anybody in here uh, play Overwatch? You guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Moira and voice lines and all that? I mean, it's very possible you don't, and I'm just got the wrong crowd for what I'm talking about. One, two, so I'm done with the rainbow colored yarn for now. And now we're on to our 12 inch square! So for Cowboy, wherever you're at, thank you so much again. And now we will start on your legendary 12 inch square. I mean, because if it's 12 inches, it's got to be let. No clue! Oh no. You haven't played in some time. Oh, so is Moira completely new for you? Probably never played her. Whoa. Alright. Alright, yarn in my hand. Just so you know, you're going to be a granny square. You're going to be a 12 inch granny square, so it's going to be awesome. So I'm just letting you know what's happening here. I would highly suggest you cooperate. Okay, so you figured out what's going on here. Good. Alright, the navy blue yarn hasn't quite figured out what's going on yet, but it's sort of, sort of cooperating. And one, and two. You know what it is, you've seen gameplay and played a little bit, and I'm like, meh, boring. You're a diva main, Lizikins! <laughs> Jingles is a junk rat diva player. Oh my goodness, I think this yarn sort of wants to do it what it's supposed to do, but it's so rough, it's having a hard time doing it. Alright, one and two. So this is actually quite, the yarn itself is quite old. Uh, Red Heart still makes this colorway, I believe, uh, but the yarn itself has improved. This is quite... Mm, I don't know. When did I get this? Probably like back sometime before I moved out to California, so it's pre-2010. It could be as old as like 2003. So this yarn I'm holding could very well be like 15 years old. Um, but you can you can feel that it's old. It's just rough, it's scratchy, it's not in general not pleasant to work with uh, like I said I could notice the difference even between the the soft bird yarn 
and the the rainbow stuff, but the rainbow stuff is newer than this navy blue stuff is. All right. Anyway, this should be easier after this first round. We're coming to our last corner here. Starting projects in crochet is one of the most tough parts. Uh, it just your yarn has no structure. Or you should say your project has no structure. Um, you know, it's just like yarn in random places. You don't know what's going on. And yeah. Anyway, so we got the first square done here. Make sure I have enough stitches in each side. All right. Looks good. One. Two. So what do we got going on? That's not long. I refuse to believe that I graduated that long ago. Right? I was saying something in, in one of the channels today. Uh, oh, because I was, I was watching these like tech videos. And basically it's like an online class I was doing. Uh, so I could get some stuff done at work work is really slow so I'm like you know what let me learn this new technique and then I can be more productive at work so I'm watching these videos and I'm like man I have the craziest headache and I was like why do I have such a bad headache and then I'm like wait a second I haven't like had to use like this technical part of my brain in over 10 years from when I was left in school and I'm like wait did I really leave school 10 years ago and I'm not talking high school I'm talking college so like I was like have I really been out of college for 10 years I'm like oh my god very close to 10 years, yeah. Dang. So yeah, that made me feel old. like happy music I just like I'm crocheting in time to the music guys yeah you graduated college 10 years ago all right yeah <laughs> it's just like what and it's like what have I been doing with my life and I look back at the last like you know, eight to ten years I'm like it wasn't that bad it was a little rough in some spots that's for sure um, also, this yarn, I think, is like chewing up my fingers. Kind of, it's a little disturbing. Um, my skin is getting really rough around my fingernails. I don't want it to catch and like cut me. Why do you bandage all over your fingers? Well, I was playing with this yarn and... Uh... Ah. The yarn's so rough that uh, it just it cut, it cut my fingers. One, two, three. Actually, that's still only two. I'm counting wrong. Counting wrong again. I was watching a streamer who said she was a senior the year I had my son. I was 23, almost 24 when I had him. Oh my god. <sighs> well, I mean, that's only like a five year difference because, you know, seniors are usually around 18. That's not terrible.
Getting this granny square on its way. One and two. So here is about where I would be getting ready to tie off and stop if this was a three inch one, but this is going to be a 12 inch one. Stitch. Slip, slip, slip. Penguin looks at Flipper. What's wrong with your flipper, buddy? One, two, three. single one because we're going over here do, do, do. and two here because we're making a corner let's see well this is a blue feather past what needs to be headed for bed oh a blue feather past. Aw, that's just, that's a really cute way of saying that. Okay, and have a waddling one and a flippertastic night. Well, thank you, Penguin Souls. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you for the follow uh, there and in the Discord. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay in both locations. Uh, but yeah, if you do anything crafty, if you have any pictures you want to post, there's you know, stuff, your cooking stuff, if there's anything you want to, you know, share with us, totally go ahead and do that. I'm probably going to rename the channel so it's a little more clear to where people can post things. But yeah, go ahead and chat away. I know Penguin's there, I'm there. So, have a great night. I said Penguin, I meant paint. Paint's there, I'm there. <laughs> There's a couple other people too, but they're not as active. Needy Bird was around for a while, Adorned was around for a while, but I think they got busy with other stuff. Other stuff. Alright, so babies work on a C to C. And Knitting Nerd. I don't know if she's still here, if she just kinda dipped off without saying anything. She's like that. Busy. <laughs> Busy with stuff. Uh, she she is someone I would call a social butterfly. Definitely a social butterfly. Okay, I'm not, like, I keep getting this, I'm making a bubble somehow with one of my stitches. I don't know how I'm doing that. I think I just need to even out the stitch when I pull it through. That seems to have worked better. Alright, there we go. That looks less weird. I like one part of the loop of the stitch just sort of sticking out and odd angles like why why are you doing that? Alright. You'll join after I leave your stream. Okay, cool. It's been a few days since I've updated the giveaway page, um, but that's not difficult to do. I'll usually update with like four or five things at a time, uh, and they all have different end dates. Uh, if I can get it to work on mobile, you've been struggling with that. You should be able to, um, I've noticed if I'm on a mobile device and I click a Discord invite link, it does not work. Um, but then I've also had the issue on the computer 
where I'll click an invite link and it'll like create a new Hyper Zen Girl account with like a different four digit code after my name. I'm like, why would you do that? So somehow I have to get those attached to my regular account. I think I have two different discords that did that. So I'm just like, what, what are you doing? Why, why would you, I'm already logged into one. Don't create a new user. And it's not like I can merge the users. Discord doesn't let you do that, but I don't know why it created a new user in the first place. That's so just really frustrating. Ugh, I did the weird bubble thing again. It's when I'm starting a, uh, a corner. So it's right here that I have to be careful. All right, that seemed to work. It's like I just have to go slower. Who wants to go slow when they're crocheting? Okay. What we got here? It's 10.02. 10.02 p.m. I need Cowboy to stop by again. He needs to let me know what he wants me to make him. Pillow, an army, uh, something. Uh. And one. Uh oh. What is it? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, there was one time when I, I made a granny square and I had only put three, uh, three clusters in the first, uh, or maybe it was the second row. I could not for the life of me figure out why it was off and all cattywampus and I just I was looking at it and looking at it and I'm like well I'll just keep going and I kept going and it just it was off it I, I frogged so much of that one two and it just it the yarn was really hard to see so it was very difficult to figure out where the issue was it was also one of my first attempts at, at doing Granny Square. And I was doing it kind of like this, you know, I didn't, I wasn't near a computer or anything, so I couldn't look it up, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Uh, and then a lady came up to me, and she's like, oh, are you crocheting? And I was like, yes, yes I am crocheting. And she's like, oh my gosh, and you're not even using a pattern! Oh my gosh! How, how are you doing that? And I was like, it's... It's one of the first things most crocheters are taught. It's a granny square. Also, um, my headset's beeping at me. It's telling me that it's low on battery. So we may have to call stream early because my headset wasn't charging last night. Which is really disappointing. Or maybe I'll just move to the computer and work on the computer, because that's kind of what I was going to do anyway. Uh, I might put the 12-inch the square aside and then start working on those patterns. We can do that, and then I can plug it in because the charger's next to the computer. And then so we'll work on those patterns. I'll do that one, though. I'll finish this round, and then we'll go ahead and move to the computer. Because those designs are something I also need to get done, and it is crochet-related, I just but I really... Um, Okay. Beep beep. <sighs> Maybe I won't finish the round then. I'll just come to the computer now. <laughs> so you know what we'll do? We'll do this. Okay, you know what? We won't do that. I lied. Do do do. That needs to just go down just a touch. All right. I was gonna try and point that camera down at where I'm working in front of the computer. Thing is, it doesn't bend that far down. 
does not bend that far down. Now my face cam could probably do that. Hello. Face cam can probably bend down there. Or actually, oh, no, not with the angle it's at. It can't do that either. Nope, nope, nope. So maybe I'll do this. Boop. And we'll crochet right here. Right in front of my face. Oh, and you know, I came over here to plug in the uh, headset, and I didn't do that yet. So, headset. Plug. Plug. And this is how we'll have the rest of the stream. Plugged in. That is not what I needed. Alright, so. Let me rearrange some of the windows here. Go ahead and bring this on over. We'll throw that over there. I won't need that as much. Clyde bot. Um, I need to look into that. I don't remember. Click the server name in the top. Oh, I think that's a Discord bot. Weird. Mm, the other weird thing is that there's not much light in this corner, and uh, it's hard to see my crocheting. Alright, I actually want to... Can I go down with this? Alright, that should work. Hola! There we go. See, now you guys can actually watch me crochet, right? You know what? And I can do cookie clicker. We'll make this a cookie clicker stream now. Since I'm sitting at the computer. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. Um. Oh, that's right. I need to do this. Boom. Cookie clicker stream. And we need to go just up a touch because it looks weird. All right. I guess that'll work. Yeah. Oh god, wrong thing. Down here. Boom! Golden cookie. Cookie clicker, cookie clicker. Oh, it's actually slightly different than it was before. Is that it? That's about it. Go back up here. Mon needs to come up. That's what we need to do. There we go. Little Capamon. Boop. There we go. Cookie clicker, guys. This is what it is. I gotta put this off to the side, though. Does that mean it shows my active window? Alright, cool. And we crochet. This is how that's gonna go. Azelita, hello! So I had to change things up a little bit. My headset was dying, so I had to come close to the computer 
And I figured you guys might actually want to see me crocheting a little bit once in a while. And then I decided to pull up Cookie Clicker because it's all on my, it's always running on my computer. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a streamer. I stream games. Oh my gosh, Crafty Minor Gal. Hello. You and Azalita showed up at the same time. So what have you guys been up to tonight? Kind of fun, fun mischief have y'all been creating. Ooh, golden cookie. Boop. Typing up the work I hand wrote this past month. Awesome. Hoping to get about half of it typed. Yeah. Goals. Good goals. I'm currently making a 12 inch sub square because I had someone sub to me yesterday. It was awesome. Big sub, big sub. And hoping I can get closer to 20k words. Need to get to 50k by the end of the month. Agent wants it by the end of April to sell. Awesome. And a C2C blanket. I think Baby's also working on a C2C. I need to go ahead and check that out and maybe make one of my own or something. They seem to be all the rage. I was saying I was watching a video from the crochet crowd and I didn't understand the stitch. It it looked like to me that the the stitch that connects like the different squares, it's just one it's like one single crochet or one slip stitch and everything else is kind of building off the previous one. It's like, but if they're only connected with like one loop of a stitch, like, is it very sturdy? Uh, but I've never tried it, so I just, I don't know. It just doesn't, the way he was describing it just didn't, uh, didn't make sense. And he seemed kind of like he was talking down to the, the crafter, the viewer, and I was like, and made me, the video made me uncomfortable. So I think I just need to find a different how to C to C. Oh, you're working on the computer, gotcha. Yeah, that was that was my plan for the rest of the night. Um, but we got way more subs than I expected today, which is awesome. Totally not complaining about that. I had yesterday's sub square to do, which is the one I'm doing now, and then I had two more today. Uh, thanks to Paint. Paint twenty seven is fantastic. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. I have like two sips of my water left. I'm getting quite thirsty again. See, now that I'm sitting at the computer, I want to, like, I want to play a game. So I got my cookie clicker here. Click, 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 click the cookie. And sometimes I have those golden cookies that show up. And I have these things I can buy. I'm trying to save up for this next thing down here, the chance maker, which is 29.9 quadrillion. I'm at 26. It's going to take a while to get up there. But if you see here, I'm making 624.89 billion cookies per second, just because of all the other stuff that's running. My roommates joke that Cookie Clicker really isn't about cooking clicky cookies, it's, it's actually a Bitcoin farmer and somebody else is like using my processing power to uh, farm coins. And I was like, well, maybe, but I'm pretty sure Cookie Clicker has been, long been around longer than Bitcoin has.
All right, so after these sub squares, I think, and mm, well, sub squares and the pillows, since I finished Poco, yeah, I was doing sub squares, and then the little pillows, the the Mario Star one, and the Deadpool one. I need to work on weaving, so I'm gonna need to switch it up and go from crocheting to weaving. If I have a piece I want to finish, I want to do for the LA County Fair. And then I want to switch over, and I have two Christmas presents I need to make, but it's going to be for Christmas this year. And that means if I get them done before the due date, I can also submit them to the county fair. And give them away as Christmas gifts. Both. But yeah, it's like I have to do my, my Christmas... <laughs> I have to make my Christmas gifts before May. Mm. Yay, county fair! Golden cookie. Frenzy! Extra cookies here. But yeah, the county fair is pretty cool. I took home second and third last time I entered. LA County Fair or uh, somewhere else? Uh, last year, the only things I submitted... Well, no, I submitted two... I submitted a crocheted pot holder, which was kind of crap. Uh, but I also submitted three hand-spun skeins of yarn, and those actually, all three of them, won a third-place ribbon. Clackamas. I have no idea what that is. And one... Second was for a dishcloth and third was for a cowl. Oh, nice. In Oregon. All right. Come on. I kind of want to try my hand at uh, streaming Overwatch again. Like I said, I'm sitting in front of the computer. want to play a computer game. But if I try to stream Overwatch, my computer would be like, it did. I won't be able to play Overwatch, and I won't be able to stream. Alright, let's try this again. Get in there, and do your thing. And after the weaving, I'm going to knit. I want to knit a 14 by 14. And so here's the cool thing, I found a place to donate stuff. Um, ooh, another cookie. Oh no, mouse, cookie. Um, one of the gals in my knit and crochet group said that she would make little blankets for animals at the local animal shelter. And they'll accept pretty much anything it sounded like. Um, but they do knit ones as well as crochet ones. And it's just to be 14 inches by 14 inches. That's the smallest size they'll take. And I was like, you know, they it's it's a blanket for a, a cat, like a cat or a small dog. If I make that, like, my stitches don't have to be perfect. It's not going to be judged. It's going to be for an animal that needs something warm to snuggle with. So that will be my first knit project. It's something like called, like, Hugs and Snuggles is the, uh, the organization. I have a crafting list. I have a crafting to-do list. <laughs> and I figure after, you know, making something like 14 inches by 14 inches, hopefully, you know, my muscle memory for knitting will improve and, you know, it'll, it'll help everyone involved. But yeah, that's after this, two pillows, and three woven scarves. It shouldn't take me too long. Uh, I hope to get all that done within the month. 
Uh, not the, the, the knitted blanket will take longer, but I mean everything else I listed. That stuff. Unless I get like another commission or something and then the commission will jump the line. But I just finished the Poco Yo Bird, which was a commission. So everything else is kind of like whatever order I wanted to do because it's gifts and stuff. Actually, the other thing that will jump the line is um, when Cowboy tells me what he wants me to make him for his tier 3 sub. Which I wonder where Cowboy is tonight. Usually he shows up for like the whole stream, but I don't know. I don't know much about him. I think he actually might stream himself, so if he's online tonight, we should go raid him after I'm done. Oh dear, this has got a little splitty. Yeah, so this yarn. Yeah. Glad I'm using it. I'm using it for something. Uh, so yeah, these will be all sewn together into a sort of like a cowl or capelet. Uh, all my subs for the year from January up to October for uh, TwitchCon when I go to, I'm hoping to go to TwitchCon. Uh, that's going to be a separate thing. Oh, you know the other thing I need to set up? I need to figure out how Tiltify works, because St. Jude is having another fundraiser through Twitch soon. So I need to get that at least figured out and set up before it happens. Yeah, I do, I do, it was a San Jose or San Francisco? I think it's San Jose? I, basically, if it was in California, it, we were probably going to go to it, or at least try to go to it. But I think tickets might be a little cost prohibitive. I don't... Not quite sure. <laughs> I don't... I didn't go last year. I showed up for some of the meetup type events last year, uh, but I didn't have uh, an actual ticket. So let's go ahead and take a look, check out what they were last year. Now I'm really curious. Uh, TwitchCon 2017. Ticket prices. Oh, wow. You guys actually see this. I thought it was just going to stay on the cookie clicker thing. My bad. There we go. Cookie clicker stays up. Alright, the three day pass was $159. It says it was a hunt it was forty dollars less than their on site price. So their on site price for three days must have been $199, or if you bought each day separately. Friday and Sunday passes will be eighty nine were eighty nine dollars. On site is 109. Saturday is 109 just for the one day. And if you bought it at the door, it's 129. So they're a little pricey. I just closed the window. I didn't want to. Or I shut the window. I didn't want to. There we go. Yeah, I reserved a hotel because I can cancel until September without penalty. Oh, that's awesome. I should probably, I mean, I was probably going to Airbnb it. I should probably look at that. Like, I know people in the area, but I probably don't want to stay with them. Probably not going to stay with them. I can tell about that, guys, about that some other time. I'll write off for my business, networking and the like. Yeah, I need to, I still need to make 
like business cards. Oh, did you guys see my stickers? Because you guys come at like the end of my stream. I made stickers. And I realized that like I should have made better stickers. <laughs> I should have been a little more uh, thoughtful. Because like I, I took my kitty cat and it's the picture that's on the screen. But he doesn't have any yarn. So he wouldn't be good for people who don't know me personally. And come on. Uh, focus. There we go. So little stickers. Super cute kitty. And like I didn't want to make my name, like I didn't want to have a sticker that didn't have my name on it, like didn't have my Twitch ID on it. But I also didn't want to make it like overly, ob overly obnoxious. So that's why the little, it's at the bottom there. So I hope people like don't get it confused with a copyright symbol. <laughs> um. Uh. But if I have a little kitty with yarn, it makes it a little clearer as to what I do. So any giveaways I do, any sort of um, like orders people get, they'll be getting these also. And I'll put in another order for stickers that are a little more visually descriptive. Yay, cookie clicker. I also bought one of their sample packs. Um, and this is from stickerapp.com is where I got my stickers from. And so the sample pack costs $2. And it has a bunch of different, like it gives you, it tells you exactly what type it is. So like this one says Sandy High Tack and it actually has like this, not gritty, but like rubbery feel to it. So the, the glossy coated, this is what my stickers are made out of. Craft paper is like the paper bag ones. Yeah, it just feels... I'm not quite sure how mirror sticker would turn out for something like my cat. Like, would his whole body be a mirror? I, I don't know. Uh, transparent sticker. You can put it on stuff and see through it. Stickerapp.com. You can do it on the computer. It's not actually an app. Uh, the next ones I order, I think, are going to be this. The Sateen Matte. It's very smooth. It has less of a glare on it. I just like the way it feels. Uh, the brushed alloy is kind of cool too. It's a metallic feeling. The thing is my stickers don't have a metallic thing. So the, the brushed alloy and then there's hollow, which is like super shiny. It, has a, it reflects different colors. The camera doesn't quite pick that up. Oh yes, it does right there. Uh, full color, removable. I don't know why I'd want a removable sticker. And heavy duty. It's like, this is like the kind that you could put outside on like a vehicle, I guess, if you wanted people to put it on their cars. Um, but this is really, really thick. It's like twice the size, twice the thickness of the rest of them. And a different, uh, I kind of want to feel the edges of it and pull it away from the backing. It's so heavy duty, I can't even peel it. But yeah, like I, I was, I'm going to be getting stickers. And Jingles is going to be sticker, get, probably getting stickers for his business. Yeah, this is super thick. And it's really sticky too, like extra sticky. So this is almost like a plastic, this heavy duty one. So we're both going to get stickers for stuff, so I figured we'd get a sample pack so we know what we would be getting. Fifteen percent off code for Moo.com. Gotta run, hubby home, and we're ready to eat. We'll check in with you if you're online. Cool. Have a good night, baby. Good through April 3rd. Moo.com. Now, that's not one that showed up when I was looking for stickers. So, we'll open that paper deal. Alright. Taking a look at Moo. Because, yeah, I was comparing, like, three or four different sites, but they were all, like, ones that popped up first in the Google search. Um... Moo is loading. Oh, Moo is for business cards. Oh, I, they did the different size business cards, didn't they? Like the tiny little ones. Thanks, baby. Have a good night. Oh, did I miss a cookie while I was talking? I totally did. Paper deal. Dream it, print it. Okay, so they do... Oh, they do a bunch of different stuff. Products, what do we do? 
business cards, postcards, stickers, logo address, square business cards, flyers, looks by Moo, tailored collection, mini cards. What's a mini card? We'll go ahead and click on that. Oh, yeah, those. Yeah, the, the mini cards is what I had seen being made by Moo before. Thing is, I, I, I've received mini cards before and I lose them, so that's not really a bonus for me. Oh no! Yeah, they're, they're, like I said, they're cute, but I've, I've actually lost ones that people have handed me, and I'm like, well, that's not great. <laughs> Like, they get lost at the bottom of my bag, and I'm just talking about the people, and I just couldn't find it. But with regular size business cards, they all end up in a pile together. I'm like, sweet, let me thumb through these. Alright, cool, here's the one I was thinking of. The Lux cards? I think They're, like, extra thick, right? The Lux ones? And, like, can you customize the, the s color on the side of them? Because I think someone else handed me one of those. I was like, wow, these really, like, pop. Yeah, they had a black card with, uh, like, lime green edges, and then, like, lime green, uh, their, their company name was in lime green. I'm like, wow, that's really, like, memorable. Super awesome. Fronts and backs and middles can be a color of your choice. Yeah, my current design, like, I don't know how to design a business card, um... My current design is very, I feel it's very basic, and like really the whole card is going to be Twitch Purple. And then there's going to be the cat, and then like my gaming information on one half, and then my crochet information on the other half. You use coupon codes. <laughs> I suppose if I use something like Moo.com, their templates would look different than other places. Like, I've looked at Vistaprint, and I'm like, ugh, all your templates are so bleh. And then there was one I was trying to, like, create your own logo one, and they all just look so common. Like, I've seen them before already. And the thing is, I already have my custom art, uh, my little kitties, uh, custom done for me, and I paid quite a bit for them, so I want to use them. <laughs> Corky Candy makes business cards. That's good to know. I just, I don't, uh, maybe I'll reach out to Corky Candy and ask her to help me with layout, like I have the artwork. Um, but I just need layout assistance. I'm just sucky at design, so I use templates. I'm cheap, so I usually try and do it myself. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily look great. <laughs> yeah, I was using, uh, I have Photoshop, and I was, Staples has a template, um, not really to like put your phone number, blah blah blah, address and all that, because I'm not gonna give my phone number and address as a Twitch streamer. Like that's that to me sounds like suicide, almost literally, uh, with all the BS that's been going on. But I'll put all my social media stuff on there, including my like gamer tags for Steam and Battle.net and whatever, because they have a ability to block people. If it comes to that point. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. Business web in a website. Yeah. I don't... Do I have a website? I don't really have a website. I have a Facebook page. I, I don't make money from crocheting or anything. It's, it's a hobby that I have a... That I'm working on getting a DBA for because of Twitch. That's that's how that's working. 
but yeah, the closest thing to have a website is my Twitch page and my Facebook, and a, a, a Facebook business page. Which really, I found out later, it shouldn't have been a business page, it should have been like an organization page, because I don't have a physical, like, storefront. But Facebook does not explain that very well when you're setting up the page and you can't change it later. Okay. We had some notifications come through. What was that? Uh, for some reason, Discord is not in streamer mode. That's dumb. That looks like something I will post. That's fun. There's a giveaway going on um, the Wowhead Discord, but you have to play around the Wowhead uh, database uh, website. just did two single crochets and we're about to turn a corner here. There we go. Need to figure out which direction we're turning the corner. Right here. Okay, Azalita, have a wonderful night. I hope you have a good sleep and wake up very rested. And uh, yeah, I'll check out Moo.com a little more. I think I just have to work on the design on my end first, because I was just going to send it off to Staples and, you know, print off like 100, 500 cards or whatever for cheap. So Crafty Miner Gal, what are you up to tonight? Do you have any projects in the works? Try a sampler of 50, they're pretty reasonable, let you get to feel. Okay. This yarn is so rough that I feel like I'm just like making my stitches ridiculously tight, but I don't think I am. I think it's just the yarn having such a difficult time sliding over itself. It's almost more difficult, like rougher than cotton. I'm gonna have some pretty strong fingers after I'm done with this guy. Alright, let's check out the Moose sampler. Okay, I think their stickers might be actually what I want. Or at least one of the...
There we go. Order a free sample pack. Okay. I'll probably, I probably will order a sample pack. And those ones I don't even have to pay for. That's cool. It's getting really splitty here. All right. Jeez, yeah, splitty and twisted, and just kind of gross at the moment. Got to make sure to get all strands of it, and then work basically work our way through this mess. All right, there we go. I think we've surpassed it. Yeah, yeah. Worked right through it. I know what the problem is in order to fix it. So let's see. You got a bit of a to-do list. Need to fine-tune my stream. Practice my crochet in the C2C. Working on... the oh, C2C you're working on. Got your first commission for the goldfish that you put up on Twitter. Woo! Goldfish! Actually, I want to check out your goldfish. I feel like I've seen it, but... Uh, it's not quite... Ring a bell. Okay, so I'm assuming you're crafty minor gal on Twitter also. being really weird. There we go. Jeez, it's like... It's like I didn't know how to crochet for a minute there. What? Alright. Crafty. Miner. Gal. Gal Miner. There we go. I feel like I'm probably not following you. Boop. Am now. Alright, so you posted up a goldfish. <laughs> New Java textures. Alright. Goldfish, goldfish? Not, not seeing goldfish thing. There it is! First, first. <laughs> That's amazing. Nice! So cute! Boop! Favorited. Liked. It was blue. Alright. Alright, so now I'm following you on Instagram and Twitter, and I can see all your cool things, including that cute blue goldfish. And your Minecraft meme me things are fun. Retweeting stuff on April 1st is funny. Right now we have about a six inch square. I'd say we're halfway there, but it's actually only like a quarter of the way there. Alright, I'm getting very quiet, which means I'm probably getting very tired, and 
it's quarter two. Significant progress. I will probably keep crocheting uh, even after I get off stream here. Or maybe I'll just keep crocheting and not even end stream. I just want to keep crocheting, guys. But I don't think you can even see what I'm doing. I'm just looking down. Let me we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. Meh, just a little bit. See, now you can't even see my eyes. Oh, look. Golden cookie. Um, anyway, yeah, you can't really see my face. I'd have to, like, scoot back. But I don't think that's gonna be comfortable for me. <laughs> and then we'd go up a bit. Because now all you see them a lot. <clears throat> I suppose this works. A little better. You're addicted. Oh yeah, uh, I'm working on a 12 inch one. Right now we're at about six inches. Um, I did have my first tier three sub, Cowboy82 subbed uh, at the tier three level yesterday. So we, or not yesterday, Tuesday, Monday, Monday. Um, but um, he gets a 12 inch square and he gets a crocheted item that kind of of his choice, but we just have to make sure it's not going to be too complex. Uh, he doesn't know what he wants yet, but he's like, I definitely want something from you. I'm like, He's like, so I will sub at the, <laughs> the tier 3 level. I was like, okay, that's awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. Uh, so I just need to wait for him to let me know what he wants. I know, it's crazy. It's like I haven't even had tier 2 sub yet, but I have a tier 3. <laughs> Although I'm starting, I'm thinking I could adjust my levels to make sure that, like, even my tier 2 sub could get something. Um, I might just offer, like, a free sticker in addition, because I think I have handwritten card, like, handwritten card plus sticker, and that's just, not like it's necessarily an incentive, but maybe, just to feel like a little something more, because both tier 2 and tier 3 will get a handwritten card from me. Um, and I need to figure out like a card design that also includes like some crochet. So maybe I could do a card and like poke out the edges and do a little bit of lace crochet around the edge. Even if it's just a single crochet, uh, just kind of give it like a lace feel. Maybe if I want to get really fancy, I could do like a, a scallop thing. Do do do. Yeah, I've done some, you know, crochet, and it wasn't around paper, it was around something else. Um, I don't remember why I did it, it was around some wire, some piece of wire. I think it was just because the wire was too cold or too, like, it was scratching me, and so I crocheted around it. Um, but I know, like, crocheting on cards is also a thing. Um, I just need to get, like, super thin yarn, I don't have that. But yeah, so the the handwritten, I should probably put a handwritten thank you, embellished handwritten thank you, crochet embellished, there, crochet embellished handwritten thank you. Alright, just need to update my information so people know what they're getting, the awesome stuff they can get. Or just the awesome stuff that crochet can even be added to. It's funny how some people who are like, uh, probably like 10 or 20 years older than me, they're like, crochet is all like doilies. And I'm like, uh, you should just go online and Google crochet. It's kind of become a different sort of thing now.
Okay. Now we're at the end of the row. I can cleanly go ahead and at least uh, put this on hold for now. Let's see, where did that end? Okay, so I can put the stitch marker here. Alright, so got my nice big ruler right here. We are at six and a quarter. So six and a quarter inches on the one side. And a little more than six and a quarter on the other. Might as well just call it six and a quarter. Uh, on this side. Actually uh, it's probably like six and a half but you can kind of stretch it and make it whatever size you need it to be at this point. So, about halfway done with uh, Cowboy's sub-square. Woo, sub-square! A 12-inch square that's not me! I'm happy about that. So, let's, uh... I'm gonna see if if Cowboy's actually streaming right now. So I feel like I could at least throw him a quick raid. Uh, if I could spell it correctly, I could probably get to it. Oh, look at that. You guys can see what I'm doing. Because it's the same thing as the... Oh my gosh, he's hosting me! That's crazy. <laughs> it, well, I haven't hosted him. Um, but yeah, that is pretty Inception-y. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to Cookie Clicker, at least in the background, because that's a bit... Uh, Alright. Alright, so the first place I do go is to uh, Naughty by Nature to see who's doing crafts. I start with the person with the lowest amount of views, and then work my way up. And it has to be someone who's crafting. Some of these people I haven't seen craft in a while. They play games. But they do stream on the Naughty by Nature channel, and that's fine. And... Well, I did host Peanut Lady the other day. So... A little bit of variety. Okay. I have not met this person yet. Ooh, cookie. Uh, Galaxy Descends. So it says she's Canadian witch, super new, creepy shit, cute things, Warframe, Diablo 3, Stardew Valley. But currently she's doing pearlers. So let's go hang out with Galaxy Descends. Bring her. Bring her some crochet love, guys. Uh, where did my... Did I just do the thing that... I totally did. So if you guys were saying anything, I unfortunately clicked off the page. I did not, <coughs> excuse me, did not see anything in chat. All right. So it has been a fantastic stream. I've had three new follows. That included two from while I was off stream. Uh, two subscribers thanks to paint 27 I've finished sleepy bird I got two sub squares done I'm working on a third sub square and next time uh, let's see when will I be streaming next um that's up in the air I might stream tomorrow but I also have an in-person meetup that I should go to um, ooh, I'll probably bring the sub square to that because that's portable a portable craft the rest of them aren't supportable uh, so I mm, follow me on Twitter and I will probably post there I usually always also try to update my information down below Carl gifting yeah so had paint uh, oh wait, no Carl subbed and paint uh, no paint and resub yeah yeah it was a very productive stream uh, and then paint not paint Carl uh, did gift us up to Lizzie Kins. 
Um, Paint wanted to, I don't think, but she's like, no, did she re-up hers? Do I have to do one for her too? No, it says I only have two subscribers. I'm super confused now. Oh dear. Cookie. Um, I think Carl re-upped and then Carl visit visited? Carl gifted one to Lindsay Kent. But yeah, extremely productive stream. Very happy about that. Yeah, okay. She did do it four months. That's true. So it was paint and then gifted to Lizzie. For some reason I thought Carl had re-upped his. But then I remember that, or then I saw in my notes that Carl got his on the 13th, which is why I was getting confused. So Carl gifted, paint resubbed. And so one of the things I need to do, I need to come up with, and do you guys have any ideas for this? Um, a six month, nine month, and 12 month celebratory, maybe not nine months, six and 12. Uh, paint said something about like numbers. Um, I don't know what she necessarily meant by that, but like put numbers on the, on the squares. So I'll have to take a look into that, what I could do. And I was like, well, maybe I could do like a silver and gold kind of yarn. And that would be, uh, I don't think bronze. Maybe I could find like copper, copper, silver, and gold. And that could be nine, twelve. Because then what happens after twelve? What do I do then? Actually, I probably will start over with a different color scheme for the new year. Um, because I, I became affiliated, um, January 3rd, I believe. So my stream rewards can be almost annual, which would be great. Uh, so yeah, I might go out and I might get some soft, well, which means I have to make paint a different thing because she already passed her three months. Or no, if I did six, nine, twelve, yeah, it could be bronze or coppery, silver, gold. I think we'll do that. Yeah. All right. Let me write this down. Let me find my book so I don't forget. And I know there's some metallic soft yarn out there that I could totally use. It doesn't have to be the red heart stuff. For some reason, I was stuck on the red heart thing. Don't want to lose my hook. Um. All right. So six months equals copper yarn. Nine months equals silver yarn, and 12 months equals gold yarn. Yes, that's how we'll do it, guys. That's how we will go ahead and do that. So, um, yes, very productive stream. And we're going to go raid Galaxy Descends, and hopefully she loves it, and I will see you guys, if not, if not this weekend, I might be able to put a weekend stream in here, actually Saturday might be a weaving stream, uh, Sunday I believe we're busy, but I don't remember with what, I need to do my calendar much better, alright, let's go raid Galaxy Descends, I hope she enjoys it, I hope you guys enjoy her purlers, uh, her channel is intended for mature audiences. If that's not something you're interested, go ahead and jump out of the raid. But if you don't mind, uh, you know, lewd content, swearing, etc., stay with us, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for joining me. This way it looked like very angry turtle. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is,